Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 5 on the PS5. And if you guys are enjoying this series, please do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. It does help the algorithm. But on this part today, we're going to be doing the craziest Trevor moment of all time in the in the story. And the thing is, though, this scene, a I lot of people did not expect this scene when it was happening. Whatever. But What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not Just saying a bunch nice of nonsense here. Okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? This is the best part now. Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! Trevor's trying to get a reaction out of people. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what Here it comes. fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. <laughs> this is just the most bizarre scene ever. Like, when you first played this, like, people did not expect this to happen to me. This. Look at this. Now, <laughs> Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Now, um, uh, that's... What happened in the condo oh, I is... I know exactly where to take I'm gonna you. have a video explaining exactly what happened, um, uh, on this. But, um, yeah, so you cannot enter the apartment anymore. And, um, that, that, that window right there is bloody. And if you know anything about that window, that window is right where Deborah was standing. Right where the, that's the kitchen window. Right there. So I'll have a video explaining this, but this scene, like, it just cut the black because it just didn't, they didn't show you what happened at, after that scene. But that was just so bizarre. You, you, you didn't expect things to escalate like that, like the first time you were watching the cutscene. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just... no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure! Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was Listen weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, they was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! Right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? 
And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. So um, that's how Wade ended up with um, uh, Trevor, is Trevor had actually um, uh, made his addiction even worse to meth. And what happened was um, uh, Trevor had murdered all of Wade's friends. Look, so that's why he says that, it. that he took them out to the quarry. That's what Wade says. So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> Here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. The so this, at this you. point in the game, Wade kind of disappears. You can still see him at the club, but he doesn't appear in any more story missions. Amigo, prepare to meet your new partner. And so Trevor walks into the strip club all bloody and everyone's talking to him like it's normal. Now here's the um uh here's the thing I'll tell you is uh Trevor I believe uh, very strongly that he stabbed Deborah to death. Um but I'm going to have a video explaining this. But um uh just from the just the amount of blood that's on him, but um uh Wade, I mean Floyd was probably shot to death, but I'm gonna, you know, have a whole video explaining exactly what happened in the apartment. But I don't think that Trevor killed Floyd. I think that Deborah killed him, and um, I think then that that Trevor killed Deborah. Um, but that that's you know my my um, uh, my theory on it. But I have some evidence to back up my claim, and I'm gonna explain all of this um, uh, in a video that I will have coming up. Probably when I beat the game, I'll probably have a video on Floyd and Deborah. Um, but there's a lot of things with Floyd and Deborah's relationship that's kind of hidden uh, if you look very closely. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. What I'll tell you is that, um, uh, in real life, um, uh... No, oh, this, all they have to do is just, just, just drive there in time, that's it. But um, what I'll tell you about this is that in real life, if there was any kind of situation like this, as ridiculous as it is, Trevor would have easily been caught by the police. Easily. And um, uh, the reason I say that is because Trevor's in the system. He has a record. Uh, Michael confirmed that. Trevor also kind of confirmed it. Um, Trevor spent um, time in prison for um, uh, robbing some guy of eight grand. And it was most likely an armed robbery, which would have been a felony. But it's kind of strange how he was out in four months because you would not be serving four months in that type of, um, uh, you know, that type of crime. No way, nowhere near. But um, anyways, because Trevor's in the system, his his fingerprints and his DNA would be there, so the police would have that on file. And um, uh, and what happens is that the amount of time that Trevor spent in that apartment, his DNA would be all over the place. And not only that, his fingerprints are everywhere. And, you know, touching the door, the railing, all of that, the police would catch him pretty quickly. To be fair, probably a lot of people would probably be touching the railing as well. But, um, just, the police would just swab that place like crazy and they'd find him. Um, they probably wouldn't know exactly where Trevor is, but they would know that he's responsible. Um, so, yeah, he would get caught really easily. Um, and also there's multiple witnesses that see him all bloody. Um, so, you know, that does not help you his case. Lucky, you know, I, I look at this from, you know, I know it's a video game, but I kind of like, you know, just look at this from stuff like this, like a more rational perspective, but he would not have gotten away with that. Um, also, here's another fact for you guys. When somebody uses a knife to kill somebody else, and especially when it's very brutal, the person that uses the knife, their hands are going to get cut up a bunch too. And I, I don't think that Trevor, I don't think that his hands are actually cut up. Uh, I'll have to check. But um, I guess that's just video game logic. But in real My life, if somebody uses a knife and they stab you. somebody repeatedly, their hands are going to be all cut up as well. A little bit. Not like crazy, but their hands are going to be noticeably cut. And that's because when they're constantly using the blade, they're trying to stab somebody. Oh, here's Wade. Um, so, yeah, so 
when somebody's using a blade and they're repeatedly trying to stab somebody, their own hand is going to get cut unless they're using gloves, which Trevor wasn't using gloves in that case. But that's why when police are looking for somebody that was involved in the stabbing, they oftentimes tell a person, let me see your hands. And that's exactly why, um, uh, why they look for the hands, because they see, like, you know, wound marks in the hands. That's, you know... Before you ask, the fridge is broken. Yeah, so his that's hands right. don't, don't really have cuts. Already. I have changed my ways, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Got it for ages. So you must know Leon. The old manager. Leon? I didn't... No. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I... Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. It's on the Big bridge one. now. That's what happened to Leon. <laughs> yeah. Come in, hey there. All right, we're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. I'm surprised Lester is actually driving with um, uh, Trevor. Lester, Lester would probably be scared being in the car with him. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground. That's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Can I switch to Trevor right now? No, I can. Okay. Taking a little bit long to switch here, not the seamless character switching that they promised of expanded and enhanced. Um, yeah, this is not fast switching by any means. Um, uh, but yeah, look at this um, expanded and enhanced, seamless character switching, right? You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on. We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. 
Seriously. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails, he's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Just went 13.30. We got two so you hours heard that? before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. So Lester I knows will. the truth about I talk Brad. To you too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. This conversation is very um, important. He, he, you know how Le Lester says, talk to Michael. Lester knows the truth. Lester has checked everything around, and he obviously checked who was buried in Michael's place. Lester knows. And so Lester is not going to tell Trevor that. He doesn't want to tell him that. Um, uh, you can imagine what would happen if Lester told him the truth, how Trevor would react to the car. So um, there's a reason he says talk to Michael, because he, he knows it's Michael's problem, not his. Also, here's another thing. If you guys notice, on Trevor's truck, you can actually see Mr. Raspberry Jam, which is um, uh, Floyd's um, teddy bear. Um, Trevor ripped out one of its eyes, but um, that you get after the Hang 10 mission. Do so they that's... call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Fly to Marietta Heights. Okay, here we go. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal rather than... Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. <laughs> Good point. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man. Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Trevor, how you doing? Uh, well... Uh, So yeah, Give those cops um, have like the easiest the job ever, just watching over one bank. If they don't respond to any other calls. How would these armored truck drivers not see the helicopter, though? Because it would be kind of obvious. There's nothing else in the sky in this big head. And helicopters usually do not fly this low unless they're landing. So it's, um... What about uh, here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges! It's en route! We'll have plenty of cover! It's too open! There's an 
number of get-outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! That's true. Oh, some of these armored trucks would have a GPS tracker in them. And also, some of these trucks would also have a panic button in them. So the guards could actually hit a panic button and they would, um, uh, and that would alert the uh, police. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time and the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's way. Wow, look at that. They just rammed the car out of the way. This is where they they're, they're gonna take it. Sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. Yep. There they are. There they are. Back out in the open. It looks wow, Lester said what I said. But you can take them in there. Expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Now the um the Union Depository. Oh, I'm trying to remember if it's. I think it's based on a real life bank. Um uh, or it might actually. It might now, be based on I the Federal Reserve. The That's what it might down, be based on. You're excavating the new LS um, Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. So the, uh, this is the same tunnel that you actually use on the jewelry store heist, so right where you start is where it ends. That's the excavation! I need you to hold the chopper above it while I take a look. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. Just hold the chopper here! You can do that, right? Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do! It feels like they've been digging this tunnel forever! We've still got information to collect. Oh. Get back to the excavation. Okay, I thought it was he had everything he needed. Okay. Hold it. Looks pretty feasible. No steel supports. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. Can we go back to the airfield now? switch to Michael now so literally you're you're robbing of the like the largest bank in the state with just like a helicopter with your name written on it <laughs> my god oh this is this real seamless character switching um uh, it does take some time it's not instant um yeah I mean look at this it's like we gotta wait in the clouds for a little bit it's just 
Yeah, this is this is slow. Um, uh, that was that was that was uh, nonsense. Seamless character switching. Take Franklin to his house, okay? Oh no, I. I just wanted to look at the mini map, but I guess it just it just switched like that. It was just one button instantly like that. Um, okay. And now I guess we're stuck in the clouds again. Um, huh. I guess we'll just end it with Trevor then, um, uh, here. Well, that really sucked. All I did was just hit down in the D-pad. I didn't think that it was going to instantly switch there, but... Yeah, my bad there, guys. Um... Wow, yeah, this loading takes time. Um... So, uh, providing either of these ways into the bank works, the armored cars are the big hole in the ground. How are we going to get the metal out? That's the 20%. Of $200 oh wow, he's, they're saying, he's saying the same line we he said before. We got two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. Alright, I'll start thinking about the breakout too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Talk to Michael, because Lester knows the truth. Okay, so... Whoa, what the? Something just blow up? Wait, what? What the hell happened over here? What, what just... The plane blew up? What? Why? Why? Okay. That's, that's ridiculous. Um, and we're, um, before, we're gonna end off here, because the next part, we're gonna have a really important part. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I oh, shouldn't Patricia. have called. But Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Our time together was, was very important. I have to go. Oh, and I for completely forgot about the uh the stock market. Let's check those um those stocks here. Oh, so we're plus now. Um, we're plus now, um, uh, we're positive, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, cash out with what I have here, gonna take all of that here, let me switch to, uh, Michael and, um, to Michael and, um, uh, made like 20 grand with Trevor extra here, let's switch to Michael and, um, Franklin and see what the profits are gonna be for them there. One more job and you're out. And this time you really are. Okay, let's see on um stocks from Michael. Oh, look at that profit, one hundred fifty thousand. Well, I should have sold it earlier. Would have been made a little bit more money, but we're gonna take what we have here. Nice. And now let's change to Franklin and see what our profits are for that one. That was Blinking Blinkington um pharmaceuticals. And remember, that was early in the story when we assassinated that CEO for Lester. And the Lester assassination missions are going to have, like, um, similar effects. Like, depending, you're going to have to buy certain stocks or wait on certain stocks, um, depending on what the mission is. But let's see with Franklin. Because um, I remember, I put some in with Franklin, I believe, too. I did. Hey, holla at me, y'all. Peace. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, 
cash this out too. Nice, Franklin made a good profit there as well. Okay. Bad. This is real bad. I gotta go. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is, is Talania. I think is her name. What? What? I'm trying to get her name right. Um. All right. All right. Come on. Let's get you up. Okay, let's get you to the hospital. No, no hospitals. Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Chola Springs Avenue. So she's the Look, best getaway driver in the game. This. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back there? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. Hey, I'm helping a bleeding girl who won't go to the cops or a hospital flee the scene of a dead body. I'd say I deserve some information here. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Trust me, I do. Call it competitive intelligence. What kind of job are we talking? Bank? Jewelry? So you're in the game? I didn't say that. <sighs> Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. Cops were waiting for us. It was supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20k each. <sighs> I was the driver. But not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half a San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at 100 miles per hour. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. <sighs> no second chances. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? Again, I didn't say that. They got nothing to connect me. No real names, no addresses. Left all the money. Way too hot to wash. I'll get myself patched up. Lie low at the safe house for a day or two, then see what I can put together. Ugh. I'm hurt worse than I thought. Just hold on. You'll be okay. So, um, uh, so she was, uh, they were trying to rob a pawn shop probably in Polito Bay, and, um, uh, two of the guys got arrested. One of the guys that she got into a car with tried to kill this her for the it. money. Listen. And... I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime, you let me know. She also appears in the casino heist, so it's canon that she survived. Taliana Martinez. Okay, so I was right on her name. Um, if I'm pr pronouncing it, Taliana. Um, uh, but, um, uh, yes, so she's she is like the best driver in the game so you definitely want to get her so i guess we'll wrap it up here guys so thank you guys for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this part and i'll see you guys on the next one take care everyone